Welcome back to Flashback Friday. Hi, I'm D-Dog. This is Teacher Reacts. More importantly, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Flashback Friday, which is the day of the week that we look at older K-pop music videos and either look at them via nostalgia, look at them via just looking at things just for fun of it. I don't know. Sometimes there's songs I know, sometimes there's songs I don't. This, however, is definitely a song I know. It's G-Dragon's Crooked. Probably one of the most popular songs by G-Dragon. And more importantly, I do want to talk about the a, a, a word that we usually use here called contrasting because the the instrumental of this song versus the actual lyrics of the song is very, very fun. And we'll talk about that in a second. For now, though, we're going to go ahead and hop into it. If you like this video, click the like button. It makes me feel good about myself. And also subscribe. Very important we do that. We're on the road to 2K, but more importantly, we're really close to 1300. Never mentioned how much I love G-Dragon. <laughs> yes, many times, many, many times. He has such a good look in every music video he's ever done ever. But yes, we're gonna talk more on the second listen through. Right now, I just wanna fucking listen to it and jam out. Coup d'etat, that's something that uh, I thought about doing on Flashback Friday. I might do that again, or might do that at some point. Oh, uh, so fun. I have this song on my karaoke game. I love how, and like I said, we're going to talk about contrasting things with the instrumental and the lyrics. The lyrics are very depressing. And it's like, and we'll talk about that. But like, if you take the lyrics and look at the instrumental, the instrumental is so much more upbeat and fun and everything. And I know that's done on purpose, obviously. But it's fucking sweet. And the music video goes along with it because it's him going out to a party at some point. And it's literally like, I'm going to act different. I'm going to show my true colors, which is a bad side and blah, 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 something like that. It, it roughly translates to like, you know, I'm going to show my imperfections. Like him getting into a fight with a cool ass jacket. That instrumental is so good. I love the, like, it's a lot of noise, right? But it's, it's real good. It's real good. So hard to not sing this right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the best part. There's so much good, like, obviously, G Dragon is my favorite rapper in K pop. I love his flow in almost everything. It is almost everything. There's a lot of older stuff, like in older Big Bang songs, that I, I do disagree with a lot. Like, I'm not a, not a fan of his back then but as he's gotten further and further in his career and more refined oh fucking sweet every time and this really is one of like one of the peaks of g-dragon oh it's so good it's so hard to not move during this. And then we have outro, right? Yeah. Dude, when I first watched this music video and we got to this part right here and it was just like him being like super vulnerable, crying in the bathroom or whatever, fucking hit, dude. And like, we'll talk about it in a second when this is over. Like that one frame. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. It was that one right there. Oh my god, when this came out like 11 years ago or whatever. So I would be like, that'd be I'd be 10 years ago. It'd be 20. So I'd be like 19, and I was like, fucking hell, dude. Why, why you gotta be so sad? This is such a happy song. And then you know, my naive person of myself decided to look up the actual translations of the lyrics and everything. And fun fact, I have that on my phone right here. If you'd like to. Go ahead and see, like, for example, 
the chorus. Let's go ahead and, you know, this fucking sweet ass chorus. Everyone has, hold on, we're going to let it play music in the background while we're fucking doing this and whatnot. You got a sweet ass chorus and everything. You know, it's fucking fun. Everything's all happy go lucky, right? Totally. And then you look up the lyrics and it's like, nothing lasts forever. In the end, you change. There is no reason, no sincerity. Take away such a thing as love. Tonight I'll be crooked. Leave me alone. I was alone anyway. I have no one. Everything is meaningless. Take away the sugar coated comfort. Tonight I'll be crooked. Like, I love. First of all, G Dragon, in almost everything I've listened to by by him, always tells fun stories. It's gonna be one of the people that I definitely do a every song of uh, video, like I did every Big Bang and every Taman song. Uh, I'll definitely at some point do every G Dragon song. The problem with doing every G Dragon song is because it's a rapper, it it's gonna take a lot more time because I'm definitely gonna have to like read into the lyrics and stuff and everything because like the stuff that I have listened to of his and whatnot. He tells fucking stories and he makes cool fucking music. And more importantly, let's talk about this. This uh, instrumental does sound like something that would be early, would be like 2012 Big Bang, right? It's an electronic dance beat. It's an electronic, electronic what? Electronic dance vibe, which a uh, bop, not vibe. Uh, so like, it works really well when you have the really high tempo, fucking fast paced type of thing. And then you have, you know, the dramatic lyrics. And I say dramatic lyrics as in like just sad lyrics and whatnot, where it's like, I wanna hide my pain and become even more crooked. Look, I'm gonna put on thick eyeliner and a whole can of hairspray and I'm gonna put on a jacket and, you know, basically do all these that materialistic things to make myself feel better even though in the inside i'm not better and it's just it's fucking sweet and then you get towards the end hold on let me get there uh something by i like a joke i'm left alone you used to promise me with your pinky finger but in the end nothing ever lasts forever and then it goes into the chorus and stuff and then like oh it's fucking great so like and the outro okay so you have the outro right the whole part where he's in the bathroom crying and everything and it's like i'm gonna read the course uh, read the lyrics to that and all these obviously these are rough translations not the best ones uh will you not say anything for me tonight i didn't know being alone would be this hard i miss you will you be my friend tonight on this good day this beautiful day this is where i miss you tonight i'm gonna be crooked like obviously he's doing all these things to like fucking try to hide his pain and everything and he's gonna show these imperfections and whatnot that's happening to him but like obviously he's hurt and he's hurt on the inside and like you can see in the music video at the very end it breaks through and he's in the bathroom crying and shit which is just ah oh, so good it's so good because you have this high pace instrumental and i keep going back to that you have this very upbeat instrumental that sounds very happy and fun but then it's not, it's not happy because we're getting like, you, look at the actual music video, the synergy we have here. You got him partying and shit, but then like, he's also in the bathroom crying because like, you know, that's his real feelings behind it. It's fucking good. So that's all I really have to say about that. I thoroughly love G Dragon stuff. I think his music is very great now there used to be a time i did not like this music video that much not music video i didn't like the song that much because i was really enjoying his earlier work of uh one of a kind and uh uh what's the other one head shoulders knee t one, t t crown that one uh those and whatnot i i love those music those songs as well so it this will be probably a person that i i revisit when I do another one of those very large, let's rank every song of this artist videos. Uh, he's not the next one I'm gonna do, but he's definitely gonna be one that's on my list of the entire YouTube career I have. I'll end up doing it. You know, just like Super Junior, when I decide to like, that will only happen if I hit 10,000. So you know how hard it's gonna be to rank every Super Junior song? There's a million of them. That it will never, I'll never be able to finish. So that will happen when I hit like 10,000, which will never happen because I'll never get that large. Now. Outro time? We're gonna do outro time because I'm out of breath. Like this video, and I mean the one you're watching right now, because if you leave a like, I will just be happy, and that's it. It's the, the key to my happiness is you hitting that like button. Subscribe, we're on the road to 2K. Uh, we are really close to 1300, I'd love to get there. And lastly, comment. 
I need more Flashback Friday stuff to listen to. Flashback Friday is the hardest thing for me to listen to new music of because it's very hard for me to find groups I've not listened to before from back then when I first got into it. So if you know of a group from 2011, 2012, 2013, that era, and would like to uh, comment, I'll shout you out during the next thing, uh, next time I record them, because I need more Flashback Friday content. I really do. Whew. I'll see you all next time. Yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate you're here. I really do. I appreciate every person who comes and watches me. I'm not funny. Sometimes I'm funny. Not now, though. Right now, we're just depressed and, you know, dancing in a... You know, we're the music video. <laughs> okay. Goodbye.